Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in my girlfriend's XJ. If you did not see the last video, we picked up this 97 XJ with 204,000 miles on it for a thousand bucks. Drives, eh, it drives good. It drives better than mint. It drives good. Has a little idling issue or misfire issue, I should say. A lot of little stuff that needs fixed on it like this glass right here we just tore off the steering wheel cover the leather because it was getting tore up at the top there so she's cleaning out the steering wheel cover that i got for christmas and she's gonna put that on there but i mean yeah if you didn't see the last video quick little update video on this thing i mean it's pretty it's pretty mint overhead console that is kind of junk i mean really that's the only cool thing about overhead consoles in my opinion interior is in great condition besides the sound bar headliner is falling off is it too small i don't know yet all right phase two ripping these plastics off Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need help with this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I need my tool again. What I do with it? These little ones are still on there, freaking good. Sure. So all the plastics are off. It's now next up is we're gonna get the uh, adhesive glue off of here, best we can, and then. I think we'll take it to the car wash next all right so guys we came down to good old reliable AutoZone. got some air fresheners because why not black ice because that's what you need got some goo gone with a scraper to get that adhesive off and we got some gorilla glue for the mirror so the mirror can go back on there and got some washer fluid because it wasn't spraying and it took a lot and hopefully it sprays because it was very 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 dry so oh and also she bought a steering wheel cover because we couldn't get the other one on figured it was too small so either this one's too small or we don't know how to put a steering wheel cover on Well, I tried to use the goo gone. It didn't work like I thought it was going to, so I stopped trying, especially because the little plastic thing it came with didn't work well. Just got the mirror super glued on there. Got this washed off, rinsed off. Now, if all the clear coat was good on this thing, it would be very, very, very mint. Now there's a lot of like spots of paint missing. You can see the red underneath of the black especially here when the adhesive started tearing off the paint, which, I mean, if it's that big of a deal, we can fix it, so be it. But I mean, otherwise this thing's great so far for a thousand dollars. Cleans up decent. Got to get the windshield wiper fluid getting th going through the system. Miss a spot. And then let's check. Did it leak on the inside from the windows? Top of the door it did a little bit it looks like a little back here 
Nothing as bad as the X-Jays we've had before. Now next. Oh, she got the steering wheel cover on. Good job. Thanks. Now next step when we go home is to get all the door jams clean and the interior wiped down. So I don't really remember where I left off at. I think we left the car wash. That was the last thing I recorded maybe. Don't really remember. But we went out, got some food, whatever. We're at the shop now. Check engine lights on. We're gonna go through this. See what kind of codes she's got. All right, the Jeep shows one code and I am not surprised. It's a misfire. I don't know if I said on video already or not that I said it was for a misfire because you can obviously feel it, but I don't know how you go back. I'll we'll just erase it. And just like that, good as new. So we decided to take a rubber wheel and we're gonna use that to get all this adhesive off. I started doing it here, you can tell. That's still adhesive, but this is bare metal. So gotta be a little careful. It's also, I mean, the adhesive was already ripping down to the paint, as you can see there. But I gotta chase down my paper towel quick. So while she's doing that, I'll give you guys a quick look at the engine. It's got newer plug wires. I'm assuming it also has newer plugs. Um, I, I mean, it doesn't really make lifter sound, if any at all, actually, now that I think about it. It definitely leaks oil or did at some point in its life. Like this motor is just caked and crud and grease, oil, whatever. Like it's just a thick layer all down the side of the motor. This fan, um, is very, very tight. It, so that needs replaced. We we don't know if this needs replaced yet. Because, I mean, this looks like it's kind of wire janky. This is the AC compressor. Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of like a half-ass type of wiring job. So we can work on that then, see if we get it to kick on. It will need an engine coolant slush. Or flush, sorry, because that, that you can't tell on video, is brown, smells not too good that light works the plug just doesn't go in the whole way which surprises me that this works at all but i mean yeah like this thing is this thing's awesome so we're gonna get it right for her um we're gonna get it good being a daily driver doesn't overheat even without that extra fan doesn't misfire like the 2000s and 2001s do after you shut it off this thing's in, it's in great shape for $1,000. So far, so good today. We probably put 30, 40 miles on it today. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this new Jeep build. It doesn't look as good in person as it does on camera, but we're excited. See if we can't get some partnerships, some sponsorships going for this build. Bumpers, lift, um, wheels and tires. I'll probably just take off the TJ throw on here and put these on the TJ because I'm actually a fan of these and there's five of them. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna be doing anything else besides cleaning it for the rest of the day and whatever else comes in for this when we order stuff. I'll be sure to make videos on it for you guys. 
So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this cleanup video. Leave a thumbs up. If you're excited for my girlfriend's Jeep build, leave a thumbs up. And comment below. If you guys want to see something specific done with this Jeep, maybe we can make it happen. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying my past three videos. I've been kind of dead lately for content. But make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you guys want stickers. I might be able to get some mail to you. Other than that, guys, peace.